Gustavo Neri with AB Boxing News. I'm here with the great Harold Letterman. How's That's everything? so great. No, oh, you're great. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. How's everything? Good. Good. You know, HBO is coming with a great card. Jacob Sulecki, Big Baby Miller's in the card as well. What's your take on this fight, April 28th? Well, I'll put it to you this way. Danny Jacobs has to be one of the top three middleweights in the entire world. I mean, at 160 pounds, Danny Jacobs is right up there with Gennady Golovkin, with Billy Joe Saunders. You know, he has to be one of the top three or four middleweights in the entire world. And, you know, a guy like Danny Jacobs, he's got to keep winning to get a shot at the middleweight title, which he's very, very close to. And, you know, they, they're putting him in with a hard opponent in, in the, what's his name, Magic Sulecki. Yep. And, you know, Sulecki's going to give him a tough fight. I mean, so lucky he's not coming to lose. So it should be an outstanding fight. Danny Jacobs, huge right hand puncher. Sulecki, a real good puncher himself. So I think it's going to be an outstanding fight. And as I say, Danny's very, very close to a title fight. He's got to win to get a shot at the middleweight title. Another great middleweight bound on HBO pay-per-view. We got Canelo, Triple G2. What does Canelo have to do differently this time around to beat Triple G? Well, I, I honestly believe that Triple G beat him the first time. And, you know, Canelo is a great junior middleweight. I'm not so sure he's a great middleweight. Uh, He's probably going to have to box, keep moving, you know, stick his jab out uh, and box and move a jab and box it and not try to slug with Triple G. Because if he tries to slug with Triple G, he's going to get knocked out. What should take on all these guys at welterweight, for example, Errol Spence, Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman are saying that they're willing to move up to fight Canelo, but they don't say that they want, they're willing to fight Triple G. Why, why is there so many welterweights trying to move up and fight the big names like Canelo and Triple G? Well, you know, it's, it's not easy to go from 147 to 160. I mean, that's asking a guy to move up 13 pounds. I mean, you know, it's asking a lot. And, you know, a lot of guys in that tough welterweight division can't do it. They, they just know that they wouldn't be competitive at 160. So that's the reason that they're not looking to fight Triple G. Is that, you know, these guys are in a division, it's a very hot division. They probably make a lot of money fighting at 147. And they're not particularly looking to go to 160 and get knocked out by Triple G. Yeah. My last question to you is, there's a lot of speculations between HBO's Jorge and Nino de Oro, Linares versus Vasil Hightech with Michenko. There's a lot of, you know, uh, debate of which network is going to have that fight. And your take, why should HBO have that fight? Well, I think we should have it because, you know, we have a bigger audience. <laughs> and that's the reason. Uh, Linares is a hell of a fighter. He really is. I'm looking forward to having him on the network. Thank you for your time, Harold Letterman, Stalin, Avery. Thank you. Thank you for having me.